Let's begin. It's 7.21, p.m. Also a sunny evening. Keyword just says sunny evening. So it's still going down. First of June. In 2018. The first of the month. The first of the month where some folks had to pay rent. Some folks had to pay some bills as part of due on the 6th or the 4th or the 5th. There's just other things between. My apologies. I'm glad I didn't go to Target. <laughs> I was going to pick some stuff up from over there. I'm like, man, let me just head to the house. Kick back for a little bit before doing the podcast. So right now we're about to get started to do the podcast because it's the first of the month. But also, we in week 99 of the podcast. Keyword I said is week 99. Meaning that we are almost close to 100 podcasts, ladies and gentlemen. That's big. That's monumental. Of that, we almost damn near close to a hundred podcasts. Wow. So next week I'll try to put the music back up. <laughs> they really, really did not feel like trying to find certain tracks to play for background music and things of that nature. I don't think we need to. I think my voice alone. If I set the tone the right way, we truly benefit others in regards to how the podcast is done. But yes, we are in week 90, sessions 481 to 485 for this week of May 28th. Yes, May 28th through June 1st of 2018. Welcome, ladies and gents. I go by the name of Q Moore, also known as Chinchilla Q, of Hip Rocker Productions TM dot com. Hashtag Business Minus Leaders, aka the Wolf Stand. So, welcome to another edition of this week's podcast. I got the post up. And before we get to the podcast. If you got, I'm just going to, you know, be on the funny part right now. You guys seen the Warriors and Cavs game. It was pretty hilarious what happened during the end of the fourth quarter. J.R. Smith's missing that shot, and now there are memes about him. Well, I said memes. I mean, you know, like how folks kind of like clown on the person or whatever. But there's a whole lot of memes out there that's hilarious. So, I mean, it, it's it's just funny how it happened. That's all. And for those of you that are hip hop or in music, Kanye West put his little album out. From a music producer standpoint, it's a cool album, music production wise, lyrical, it's like whatever. But the production is dope. Um, if you ever heard of The Roots, a hip hop group called The Roots, and one of the cats, one of the leaders by the name of Black Thought, if you ever heard of him, he did it uh, in mixtape, actually, an EP. With Knife Wonder. Knife Wonder is like a North Carolina, North Carolina um, music producer that's been around for a cool minute. And very dope on the beats and things of that nature. So they put a project out, and psh, I'll put it this way if you like real lyricism, check out um, Black Thought and Knife Wonder's new album. I forgot what it's called, but um, yeah, you'll, you'll find it on. On all the major streaming sites. Ooh. Excuse me. But yeah, you find all the major streaming sites and um, the album is banging. So and that's just a little music stuff. Because you already know I said this month I was going to put out a EP mixtape my own self. <laughs> For the first time ever. And things I used to freestyle way back in my younger days. Then used to have like little mixtapes I used to do. 
I freeze out on the tape like one half, like one, like I use freeze out on the tape to which I use up both sides of the tape just freestyling, literally, nonstop. So I'm actually pushing something out. Which is not going to sound like trap music Nothing like that You know, It's going to be hip hop With my genre Of course And a new twist And most of the stuff I talk about Is things that you kind of like research Like okay he's, he's talking about things that we can relate to So yeah That should be coming out sometime later on this month And things of that nature Have been pushing it like that Because I've really been debating if I want to put it out or not So I'm going to just go ahead and just do it And see what happens and yes, so got the platform to do the podcast, so I ain't tripping off of that. Other than that, let's get on with these folks, shall we? Let's hit it. So for I should went outside did this. <laughs> so for May twentieth, two thousand eighteen, Bless Mondays. I said, sure, it may be a day off for you, but truly remember what Memorial Day stands for. Not just a day for barbecue, more of remembrance of those who died for the freedoms we have. In the U.S. Stay blessed. I think I said this before last year. But I said it again. For the fact that. um, Yeah. You know. For Memorial Day for some of us out here in the U.S. You know it's a day where we have off. And everybody's off of work and school. And you know. Everybody barbecue things of that nature. But not many folks really understand what the day actually stands for. The day is not just for. You know the day is not just for. Okay you know we're just going to have. Chill and things of that nature. Nah, it's actually really in remembrance and memory of those who have fought in different type of wars, you know, things of that nature that have passed on. It's the memory of their sacrifice from them, you know, saying to themselves, okay, I want to make a difference in the country. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and fight in this war. And unfortunately, some don't come back from war. Some don't come back from war the right way how they left. Or some just don't come back at all. So Memorial Day is really in remembrance of those that have lost their lives fighting for the freedoms that we have. Knowing there's some other stuff behind all of that. But we're not about to get into that right now in this podcast. No, we're going to respect the the lives of those that have passed on who have fought for this country. So that was for blessed money. So I don't need to go to more details about that. If you really couldn't understand... That post, what I have said, then mentally something's wrong with y'all. Let's continue. So, on the grind Tuesdays, May 29, 2018, I said, when you reach new levels, you would then start to reach new heights of different experiences. So, let me piggyback to last week's post because it kind of ties into what I said last week, but I just kind of change it up a little bit for this week. And, um,. For last week post which where is it at? Oh yeah, I totally forgot because I push everything did I push everything together on here? Yeah, that's right. I'm on one of my other accounts where I had um re upload everything. Okay, maybe it's from an other pot other post I post up so We'll skip that. But yeah, I said when you reach new levels, you would then start to reach new heights of different experiences. Meaning, oh, I was over at the beach and I forgot which one I was talking about. I think I was talking about the last one. The last podcast, we, I mean, last podcast, last post we talked about last week, which was, um, you know, we talked about podcasts, we talked about business and things of that nature, but at the same time, um, we're actually. What you call it? And put the not disturb on here. Have a feeling we're gonna try to call, but um, what actually you know happens is that we don't really have that much time as we think we have. And then I, if I remember what I was talking about over at the beach on Tuesday, I said that um, yeah, there's different levels in life, and I was piggyback off of a post that I had talked about on the podcast a few months ago, whatever, and what I had said. Well, it's like, you know, that we all reach a certain level. Like, some of us are at different age groups where, like, I'm 30 or so, so I'm level 30 right now. And so, you know, you got some folks that it's at level 115. They are able to get to that level or level 87, level 56, level 24, level 20, wherever 
your age is, is the level that you're at. But it's a different type of level where you level up in learning and understanding from the businesses that, well, from what you try to learn and understand from the business that you want to do. So once you start to, as folks say, reach the top, but once you start reaching those levels of getting towards where you need to get to, you start to reach new heights of different experiences, which means you get a new set of problems and issues that's going to come along with your growth. But at the same time, the more you keep learning and growing, the more you get past those obstacles of new heights and different experiences more quickly because you've been through the grind, you fought through the fire, you been through the struggles that has tried to keep you from progressing. But since you have been able to get past it, then guess what? Once you read those new re- once you reach those new levels, you will then start to become more better wise and sharp at solving problems and then your bank account gets bigger and then life gets more much more enjoyable but at the same time you have to reach new levels in order to get to that point but you have to make sure that you are prepared for it let's continue so uh, motivation on Wednesday it's May 30th 2018 I said good rest equals greater results in life and business there's a reason why I have post that post right there. Because it was like on Wednesday morning. At around. If I'm not mistaken, was it Wednesday or was it Thursday? Because one of these posts. Okay. Thursday one. But for Wednesday. The reason why I post that I had the best sleep ever. <laughs> so when I woke up the following Wednesday I was like lit I mean by lit I mean I was hyper I was active Did not even feel like Gotta go into work No I actually felt great going to work And you know And things of that nature Until I came back home from work and was tired <laughs> But I'm gonna explain it in another post But good rest equals good results In life and business and here's the reason why. And I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again. You can work your ass off as much as you can. You can do a whole lot of things that you believe to be true. I've seen from some of the folks who will become big time players. Well, I mean by big time players, I mean, you know, like they play women and things of that nature. No, 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 no. I mean big time players in regards to they go make a big in life and business and everything else. But for those individuals I see, I see that they always burnt out all the time and understand, you know, someone gotta take care of their families and things of that nature. But here's the thing, if you continue to overwork yourself and try to get financial gain and things like that because you know we all work hard for the money just so we can try to get the expenses that we want to get and you know pay off the little things we need to pay off as well too but at the same time I'll let you guys know this when you don't get your proper rest you don't get great results and to say you become sluggish you become slow you become a burden to individuals that you work with I had a safe feeling with towards ones that you work with because your progress of things is not moving forward. And you're not moving forward. So you're going way back behind because you let a tiredness kick your ass all the way around. So what tends to happen is that one needs to get good rest, period. Just take a full day off of not doing anything business related. And just literally take one full day off where you're just being lazy. I know we talk about the grind, 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 do this and do that. No. Take a day or two to fully relax your mind, body, and spirit. Oversleep a little bit if you have to. Because your body's going to appreciate it. Because once you really get back to the grind, you feel a different type of energy. You feel renewed. You feel refreshed. You feel to the point where you get up. 
and you accomplishing tasks more quicker and efficiently than what you had done before when you just oh I'm tired so I'm going to just lay down in the corner I kid you not Wednesday I was wired up my co-workers on the other hand was burnt out all of them I'm looking at them like y'all just need to go home and get some rest I ain't trying to have y'all little type of energy I'm hyped up y'all so tired <laughs> it's an issue with that but then again not really an issue when you have one that goes way harder in the paint than most everybody else that's a different story let's continue so for daily tips Thursdays May 31st 2018 be careful of what you truly dream about for certain dreams can end up being your worst nightmares now I've made this post at 2.38 in the morning 2.38 in the morning y'all might be asking why I was up at 2.38 in the morning I kid you not, I came home, was on my iPad, look at, you know, the little tech videos, the things I normally do for updates on certain technology and things of that nature, because I have some people, you know, be asking me how you work this phone and things like that, so I keep up on that and stuff like that. Now, I was looking at something else. And I said to myself, because it was like a real burnt out day at work. I said to myself, I said, okay. From that Wednesday. I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go lay down. And I'm going to go ahead and do my thing, you know. Go ahead and lay down and just chill and relax. So once that had happened, fell asleep for a little bit, I was like, okay, cool, you know, woke back up, I think I ate a little something, something, and then after that, went back to sleep. Now, this is the part that kind of messed me up, so once I went back to sleep, I was in and out of sleep for some odd reason, having, like, kind of almost like long period of dreams, but a short amount of time, so I have one dream, went back up in the middle of the night, go back to sleep. Another dream, we're back in the middle of the night, go back to sleep. Another dream, you know, and I think the last other dream, it was kind of weird and creepy at the same time. So that one kept me up for about the past, like, almost two and a half hours. And the way that my body, my mental mindset was in regards to trying to go back to sleep, it was half asleep and half awake. So the half asleep part was like, okay, it was still sleeping, but I was still fully awake. But at the same time, it's like if I try to go back to sleep again, I'm going to end up with a mind grand in the morning. So I just stayed up for those past couple hours. And then the post had came to me, which was the inspiration, which says, Be careful of what you truly dream about, for certain dreams can end up being your worst nightmares. How does that pertain to careers and business and life in general? We pray for things, for those of us that do pray, we pray for things that we want to happen in life. It is written the word, you know, ask, you know, God for whatever it is that you want and he will give it to you. Certain things that we give at the right time, those are the things that we kind of be like, man, you know, like, Lord, why are you not giving me this and this and this and this? But we have to be patient and really see what the lessons that we need to learn comes from it in order to get that gift that we keep asking about. Well, or, he needs to, or he's showing us the bigger picture of we don't need that type of thing that we want that we're praying about so he just try to show us you know different alternatives and things of that nature but there are times where we do pray for certain things and as always they're never what they seem meaning they don't come out the way we think it's going to come out with and part of the reason why because we've been indoctrinated by Hollywood and things of that nature of, you know, folks asking for things in life. And then all of a sudden, you know, you start seeing them get the finer things in life that they wanted and stuff like that. But have you noticed for some of the movies where folks ask for the things that they want, they get it. But at the same time, their joy turns to misery and sorrow because the same item that they, they talk about that they want to get has turned into something that's ugly and devious and demonic in a way. Same thing with the dreams that we want to do. 
Same thing with the businesses that we try to do, the careers we try to get. We pray about it. And it's cool for the first couple of, you know, months, sometimes, first couple of years. And then all of a sudden, you see the ugly side of that career, that business, or that thing that you have. And once you start to see the ugly side, these are saying to yourself, thank welcome to the good side. Well, the thing is this. We, as humans, get too comfortable with the things that we have, with the positions that we in and things of that nature, without really asking God, you know, can you see the ugly side of the things first and then see the greater? Part of the reason when you see the greater first, you get blindsided to what's really happening behind the scenes. So what's happening behind the scenes comes to for to uh, fruition. Then guess what? You start to see those different things from a different angle. To which you now can't comprehend as to what you really pray for. I get a good example. I remember a long time ago I didn't have a job and I was still looking for one. Now some months that I come and everything, you know, so can, I think I heard from somebody say, you know, work at the airport and things in the nation, you know, they make good money. So I'm looking at some of the positions and stuff. I'm like, oh, you know, this little job pays 15 with the wood. We was blessed to get into the airport working over at LAX, one of the companies I've been talking about for the longest and whatever. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know, when I first started working overnights, it was hard. <laughs> because I'm normally a person that likes sleep at day, at um, nighttime, not daytime and whatever. Even though my body kind of got used to it and stuff like that. But, man, them first, well, I will, I will be real. I will be real. We had to go back to work at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> and you getting up around like... Six or seven or something after coming home from around five o'clock in the morning, you usually sleep half of the day and you kind of get up around the time you need to get up to go back to work. Sometimes those getting ups and the evening hits, especially during the summertime, like, like that evening air. Oh, it feels so good. I will be real with y'all. The evening air feels so good. But working it overnight sometimes it's like, uh, <clears throat> because you know we are, we're like nocturnal animals. We actually used to sleep at late at night, and whatever. Most of us, like normally, my bedtime schedule is around two o'clock in the morning. Part of the reason why I'm from that, and I'm not getting off subject, but part of the reason why I'm from that is because when I graduated high school back in 2005, I had stayed up during the remainder. If I'm thinking of that summer before going off to college or whatever, I had like stayed up because I decided that I had graduated and not had to go back to school per se and things of that nature. Stayed at 2 o'clock in the morning each and every night. It's 2018 now and my body is still used to, well, my body is used to going to bed a little bit earlier, but it's still kind of used to. Going to bed at two o'clock in the morning. So normally, wrong, wrong. So normally, I fall asleep now. Like you know, like how they say from old people, you know, go to bed around eight or seven. We I mean, probably like around nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Probably you know around those two times. So I could be asleep for almost about two hours and wake right back up around two something or three, or normally around two something. And I find it ironic that's always two something, and I just keep remembering back in 2005 when my behind I stayed up through two o'clock in the morning each and every night because I was so excited that we had graduated high school and things of that nature. But that right there cost me from staying up at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Shoot, as opposed to naming my instrumental album, 13 Hour in the Mixtape, I mean, my mixtape. Yeah, well, EP, whatever. There's down in the mix of it. Shit, name is 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, the mixtape. <laughs> Why keep thinking about it? But on the real, so, why does that, how does that relate towards this post 
And how does that relate towards what we're talking about? Dreams becoming nightmares. So before I worked over at LAX, it was cool the first couple of years. You know, a little drama from management, you know, here and there, whatever. But nothing as crazy as it is now. Which now, since I work there, you know, morning shift, whatever. Now it's more of the worst nightmare parts because I think I was talking to my grandparents, whatever. And I know it's something I have. We have a family reunion in August. And so my grandma keep forgetting that I had told her. I said, I'm not trying to be at my job for the sixth year, which would be in which would be in October. I'm not trying to be at this job for the next couple months. Literally. She was like, you ain't trying to look for nothing else. I said, the businesses that I'm working on right now is what I want to continue to push. That they, you know, get payment for it pretty Shortly, I'm not gonna say soon. I'm gonna say shortly, and whatever. And cause I, cause I told him, I said if I go back to a regular behind nine to five, it's gonna be the same mediocre type of work. And I don't want to go through a full cycle, do the same shit each and every day. Podcasting and doing the daily post is a little bit different because you always get new topics. When you go into work and you hear the same things that you've been hearing before. But now you're looking at your job and they doing everything half ass backwards that happened before a couple years ago by other different management, but was more efficient then than it is now, that's when you have an issue. Or we have an issue to which we go into work and get contracted by, you know, the main company that you with. But since you work with a contract company, the main company, you know, has more assholes than anything else. And you be ready to fight. You know. And things of that nature. But you know. You continue to push on with your work. But in your mindset. It's like. You know. You just want to go squab. But in your physical. You're like. No. You know. Just get the cool. Just keep it pushing. That's what I mean by. Your dreams could be your worst nightmares. All I pray about. You know. Is working at LAX. Trying to make cool money. Making the money that I'm making right now. But. Like I said before last week. It's helping out with just little things that we're able to do here and there. Because the other stuff that we want to do. Not able to do with the type of paychecks that we're getting. So that's like the worst nightmare parts about it. I'm just being real. So be careful of what you ask for. And be careful of what you pray for. Because the same things that you ask to pray for, you can get it. But once shit starts really going sour, it becomes your worst, worst nightmares. So let's continue to the last post. So for today, boss as Fridays, June 1st, 2018, I said money is a game. So learn how to love. <laughs> Let me say that again. First of all, today's a new day. That's what's actually on my little Snapchat post or whatever. But uh, other than that, the main post I said was, money is a game. So learn how to play the game well and good. There's a reason why I said that. Because money is a game. Money is a game where the tools of the funds is used for the goods that we want. Another example is paycheck I had got for the end of May because it got paid three times. It was a cool paycheck. This one was going towards the bills and everything, of course. So, you know, couldn't really trip off of that. I was cool with what I saw and I was like, okay, I probably still got some little money left over my account. Because I know that, you know, my Apple Music, my iTunes go come over the 14. So, forgot that the crap was on auto pay. Mind you, the funds come out. Actually, I went to Target the day. The, actually, I went to Target the day, same Thursday. No, not Thursday, the Wednesday. To go buy some little food and stuff, and I should have waited. But I was like, no, we should be cool with you know, a little bit of a little change we have in our account. We should be alright. Shit, I waited though. 
because had I waited, I would not have had a negative $43 balance in my account. It was actually negative 34 thanks to Chase, because Apple and Apple iTunes, well, you know, decided to take Alpha and Dollar Pay, the subscription I have for Apple Music, which is fourteen ninety nine. you know, for the family plan, whatever. And, of course, my music is on Apple Music, too, which is why I got the service. So, that came out. Chase hit the 34. Add together. Back to 43. I'm looking at my paycheck. I'm like, ish. Because now i got to re-budget everything. Because I had everything set to what it was going to do. Now I have to re-budget the paycheck to make sure that we are able to pay off our expenses, whatever. That's just why I said money is the game. You see folks try to learn about financial services and things of that nature and learn about the money, you know, trend and things like that. And part of the reason is for the fact that when you learn how to use money effectively, then you start to see money from a different perspective. You don't see it as common or see it as... Oh, I'm going to do the stock market because I know I'll get a whole lot of money. Wrong. If you cannot read financial statements of a company, then by all means, you will not get that type of success if you try to play the stock game. At the same time, too, folks just don't understand money in general because they've been taught a different way during the school system of things actually we're taught a different way by individuals that are just straight they're mentally broke not physically broke but mentally broke meaning that they don't have no money well they have a little bit of money but they don't have the financial means to actually teach you properly how you save money how money is really used and things of that nature so once you learn the money game and how it's really used then you will know how to use it properly at the same time you will start to see I see how money really is played straight up so learn the rules of the game then apply it so thank you guys for tuning in to today's podcast my apologies if I sound a little burnt out but today is one of those days where Put my body to overdrive to get some little aircrafts done in time with the crew that I had. So, yeah. You know, playing my water over here and everything, checking myself <laughs> focus and awake. Because there were a couple times while I was talking in this podcast where I literally almost had fell asleep. <laughs> if my voice sounds like it's about to put y'all asleep, my apologies. Not trying to have it sound like that. But, other than that, though, thank you guys for tuning into today's podcast. Truly, truly, wow, boy, my eyes are coming out. Truly appreciate each and every one of you guys that tune in each and every week or just take a listen to it. Catch you guys next week on the flip side. We had the special 100 podcast, so that's right, there's a blessing. Well, with that, you guys continue to do you, continue to say bless everyone for a weekend. Check out the website at hitrockerproductions.com. This podcast will be up on Tuesday before 8 o'clock p.m. So stay tuned to that. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. It's your boy, Shinshu the Q. Say peace, one love, Sayonara. I'm out. Deuces.